time for a keto, low carb, and diabetic friendly grocery haul. And today I'm gonna get straight into it. I'm gonna save all of the chit chat for the end of the video. In case you wanna stick around for that, I'd love to have you. Just be warned, I do go to several different grocery stores. I will have those sectioned up and I'm gonna show you what I picked up this week at each one. Gives me the opportunity to show you anything that I find new or if there's any deals out there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. small haul from United Grocery Outlet, but I did score on a few things, so if you have one in your area, make sure you check it out. First thing I picked up was going to be the Silk. This one is the unsweetened extra creamy almond milk, only $1.49. I have a tendency to hoard almond milk because it's so expensive. So as soon as I find it somewhere cheap, I normally pick one up. This one I don't think I've ever had before, but it's 70 calories, eight fat, one protein, and one total carb. Halo Top Jelly Donut Keto Series Ice Cream. The entire pint is going to be seven net carbs. Two thirds cup is a serving and there are three servings in this pot. I love it when companies do this. They give you your nutritional information per serving size, but also if you have issues like we do in our house and can't just eat a serving, end up eating the entire pot, they've got it broke down like that for you as well. 140 calories a serving, or if you eat the entire pot, 430 calories. Total carbs is 14 for two thirds cup or 43 total carbs for the entire pint, a little over two net carbs per serving, or like it says on the very front, seven net carbs per pot. This was the only flavor that they had at our store and it was $1.49, way cheaper than if you went to Food City, Walmart, Ingles, or any of those stores, they're around $5. Philadelphia cream cheese, but with a twist, this one is the spicy jalapeno plan for this is to stuff my jalapeno poppers. I have actually already opened one of these up to taste it. It has a little bit of a kick. I picked up three. They were only a dollar a piece. Then the last item I got, well, it was actually Chris's pickup. This is the Columbus Craft Meats and it is salami, but this one is the chorizo salami. One carb per serving. This entire log o meat is going to be eight servings. It was a dollar ninety-nine. It's always a small haul from United Grocery Outlet, but they have some different items that I normally can't find in my area. Area and always some amazing deals. Great news. There's a sponsor for today's video, which means I got a deal for you. Just in case you don't know, let me tell you all about Element. It's a delicious electrolyte mix that's perfectly formulated for someone on a keto or low carb lifestyle. 100 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Lots of salt, no sugar, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors, no gluten, no fillers. Basically, everything you need and nothing you don't. Finding a good electrolyte mix can be hard, especially one that tastes great and has amazing ingredients. They have a variety of different flavors, so you're gonna find the one you like. Element can help prevent and eliminate headaches, muscle cramps, sleeplessness, and other common symptoms of electrolyte deficiency. Okay, let's talk about the best part. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serve packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors. To get yours, go to D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Christy Davis. And to make this easier, I'll have it all linked in the description box for you. This deal, only available through my link. Don't miss out. Another small Walmart haul this week. Are you guys finding that you're buying the bare minimum also? Gonna start out with the meats. Got another package of pork chops. They were marked down to $4.96. It was only like a 30 cent savings. But as far as meats go, we're finding that right now pork chops are the cheapest. And I just cube these up, make them in the air fryer, 
I'm calling them pork chop nuggets. I'll link that recipe for you. Got a package of ground beef. This is the ground sirloin. It's the one pound. It was, I think, $5.50. And I did not feel like cooking tonight. So I went ahead and got a rotisserie chicken, $6.27. And I got the lemon pepper. This will make several meals for us. This is a weekly occurrence. Chris got another block of the pepper jack cheese. This one is the one pound. Another four pack of the yogurt. Get this every week also. This is the ratio keto friendly. If you've not tried it, you need to. I'm telling you, it is completely different than all other yogurts. Two carbs, 15 protein, 15 fat. I try to pick up the four pack when they have it because it's $4.60. And if I buy them in just the singles, they're $1.70. Lily's milk chocolate style baking chips. Chris got those. Got another sour cream because I put sour cream and cream cheese on everything. This one is the Philadelphia two pack. It's cheaper than buying just the one. I like to get the Philadelphia because carb count is lower on it than the store brands. Got Briley a cucumber. Massive bag of Mike's pork rinds. They now have the jumbo party size bag at my store. Smucker's natural peanut butter in the creamy. Believe it or not, I was completely out. I also get the big container of that because it's just cheaper in the long run. We go through a ton of peanut butter. This one, since it's the natural, nothing else is added except for like salt, peanuts, and that's it. You don't have to worry about additional sugars. Two of the great value grape drink enhancers. These are the ones that Chris adds to his water. Last thing that I picked up was some guacamole now. I have not been having any luck with avocados and when I buy the guacamole in the little containers with the lid, it seems to go brown really fast. So I decided to give this a shot. There's nothing really bad added into it so you don't have to worry about sugars or anything. It is going to be 12 ounces and it's in a squeeze tube, sort of like my sour cream. They only had it available in the mild. Let me show you what it looks like on the back. Keeps air tight so guac stays green up to 14 days. We'll see about that. Two tablespoons is a serving. It's going to have 50 calories. You've got three total carbs, two dietary fiber, meaning one net carb, one protein, and four fat. There's the ingredients just in case you want to pause on it and check those out before you pick it up. That was it. I didn't even pick up any drinks. This is everything I got at Walmart. Today, I found myself near Ollie's. I decided to run in to see what they had, and unfortunately, they didn't have a lot of keto low-carb items, but I did pick up three things, so let's go over those really quickly. They had the Bang Energy Drinks, the four can packs, the only two flavors they had at my store were the peach mango and the delish strawberry kiss. So I got one of each of those and they were $4.99. They had the So Delish Dairy-Free Almond Milk Beverage. This one right here, I'm not even going to pronounce it because I mispronounce it every single time, but I know that is important to some of you. It has a really good date on it. It was mid-October. It is the 32 ounce and it is shelf stable. So if you need to pick up some almond milk right now for 99 cents at Ollie's, great price. Two items that I found at Ollie's that I didn't pick up, but I wanted to take a picture and share with you. They had the Hershey's unsweetened cocoa powder for only $2.99 and they had the big bottles of Hidden Valley Ranch salad dressing or dipping sauce if you're in the south only $1.99. That's everything that I picked up this week. Let us know in the comments, did you find anything new or did you find any really good deals? Remember, in the description box, I'm going to have my other social media accounts linked for you in case you're wanting additional content. I do post stuff over there that I don't put on YouTube. And another thing that I don't normally mention, in the description box, I have an entire list of my keto must-haves, items and products that have made keto and low carb easier, more sustainable for me and my family. You're going to find the almond flour that I prefer, my air fryer that I use. Make sure you always check that out. And if you've not subscribed and hit the notification bell yet, what are you waiting on? I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. I'll see you in the next video and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.